going on governors chisco here and today man this is going to be a really hype live stream couple things are going on that's it's big first of all i'd planned a live stream today anyways we got access to the zenless zone zero closed beta and this game is super fun uh i've listed the stream as sponsored because technically i was given access to the beta in exchange for making content about the game at some point, but there's no exchange of money. They just gave me access to the closed beta in exchange for doing a stream or making a video, which is, hey, where we are. Now, if you want to check the link in the description, you can uh, apply to the beta for Zenless Zone Zero. But then last night, my God, we got the news that two new formations are dropping in Rise of Kingdoms. This is pretty freaking hype. Let me jump behind the table here real quick. Fubian, welcome back to the Elite Guard, bro. And War Daddy Chadsky, thank you for the five gifted, bro. Yo, let's get those hype emojis for War Daddy Chad. Let's freaking go. Also, we do have a Chadsky emoji in here somewhere. There it is. Hey, yo, let's go, baby. <laughs> Hope y'all are doing well. So, I'm going to walk through everything we talked about in this meeting. Uh, we are able to share everything from the meeting, but 
we were uh, requested to not record the meeting, but we can go over the literal slides presented to us, the players. Now, for those of you wondering who was in this meeting with the developers, this is pretty much the same player council that was in the meeting last go round for equipment. This is a player council that was created specifically after the equipment updates were announced and they were, I think, very poorly received by the player base. And they were like, let's pump the brakes and rethink this a little bit. Plato, bro. Thank you for the 14 months, dude. Do you know me? Thank you for the two months. I appreciate you. Let's jump in game here. Free the Kraken. Oh boy. They need to do more rethinking. Yeah, so I'll give my very honest feedback, and it's the same feedback I gave, by the way, in the meeting yesterday. So, like, I straight up shared the exact same thing that I'll share with you with regard to my thoughts on the formation system. All right. I'm not free to play. Uh, but Rock made me by banning in India. Uh, yeah, I don't think Rock banned India. I think India banned Rock. I think that's, that's the way that that worked. I don't actually have the details on that one. The other thing that we talked about in the meeting yesterday was a very brief teaser about iconic equipment. And, I mean, I hope you have saved many patterns and materials. You're gonna need them. Yeah, they, yo, ayo, you are gonna need them. Now, I, I've got a pretty moderate amount here. But perhaps not as many as I would have expected. Specifically, like, Hope, Cloak, and Eternal Night. <laughs> Pardon me. Salty Cornflakes, thank you for the one gift, dude. CL Pubs, congratulations. So, I'm gonna need way more Navar's control. I'm gonna need way more Hope Cloaks. I am actually surprisingly low on all of these things. I'm gonna need way more Eternal Knights. This is actually shocking. I thought I had more of these. I guess it turns out that when you... Talent, like... I don't know. I guess how many of these are they talented? I guess just two of them. It's still a lot of patterns. It's still a lot of patterns. Choice chests. Yeah, I may have a few of those, but like choice chests, presumably I'd want to go into here. Things like Greaves of the Eternal Empire, stuff you can't get from the crystal keys. Now I do have a bunch of crystal keys, and we'll open these up once the formation update lands, and we'll see what we can get. The other thing that we don't know about, you know, like the tiered equipment is if the bonuses that we're going to get from things like Hope Cloak are going to be identical or different from what you get from the set chest. A few crystal keys. I mean, I have a couple crystal keys, you know, I like to keep one or two on hand for content reasons, you know. Uh, but I think my choice chests are going to be going towards, like, archer set ch uh, chest, cavalry set chest, you know? Buy the one in the Lost Canyon shop. I have done that. Um, I have gone and done that. So, we're good there. Voice? Yeah, Chadsky, you wanna you wanna be in voice for this stream? Let's do it, broski. Um I'm gonna join the 2605 recording voice. Give me a second to get there. For those that don't know Word ID Chad, he is a king of 2605. And we are recruiting for our kingdom. You can migrate to join us. Uh, we are a one alliance kingdom with pretty much all players of Imperium quality, but we are an A seed kingdom. All right, Chadsky, can you hear me? <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? 
What's up, dude? Um, are you hyped for the info about this uh, update? It was a uh, it was a pleasant surprise. Part of the perks and benefits of, as you said, being in twenty six oh five is the minute Chiskel gets off with the developers and is able to share information, we're like the first to get it. <laughs> oh man, I, I, yeah. So as soon as I would went out of this meeting, I wrote up a community post. I put it in my Discord. That's discord.gg slash Chiskel linked in the description. And of course, I put it in the 2605 Discord and, you know, we start talking about, okay, what what are the implications for our players, right? Um, Burnruzz.com is where you can apply to 2605. Chat wants to see my Canyon lineup. Hey, yo, let me tell you something. Oh. This Canyon lineup's fire, bro. I am destroying. <laughs> like yesterday, I had more than a full page of winning in the first place for Canyon. This, this lineup is slapping, bro. The one thing I would do to your lineup. Okay, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Um, we've got the big event at reset, right? So when the big event comes around and you're choosing the in-between levels um, from the legendary, like level two, three, four, you know. Oh, God. Kind of this guy. Go get your stratagems. Go get it. Go, go ah, get your stratagems. True capacity, huh? It, it makes Trajan, Trajan at 132,000 troops in Canyon uh, with your gear makes it like a brick wall. I mean, you just, it just, it, it, that's the one thing, because everything on your deal is perfect, everything. You got Hunter on Mevsky, I think. You've got all the inscriptions you need. You've got some normal attack stuff going on with Luce that's super tanky. You yeah. got everything you need. It's just a... A little bit of optimization. Throw that ancient stratagems on. Uh, I mean, you know what I could Trajan. do? Hold up. You know what I could do? There, there is something I could do. So I have Ring of Doom right now on mm -hmm. Trajan. Dig that off there. We go to Nevsky. Oh, no. I No, I can't do that. I already have a Ring of Doom on Nevsky. Just kidding. Yeah, I feel like my Trajan's a little suboptimal. I just don't know what I would put on, put on him instead. Ring is, like, actually not terrible. I mean, your normals and counters are going up a fair amount, but... Among my options... Dude, the, the real magic is the Liucha coin with Constantine, oh. bruh. Oh. And the real magic to that is that I also, in the Arch Formation, have Phalanx. So I am getting, like, massive skill damage taken reduction <laughs> from Constantine. It's actually insane. Oh. Um, but y'all are not here for Canyon talk. Probably you're here for <laughs> the formation update meeting with the devs. So let's get that up on the screen and, and get rolling. All right. Also, apparently I need to go update my bot real quick. My bot, my bot lost the T in the first uh, letter there. We'll go update that. Just school botting confirmed. That'll get quoted out of context. <laughs> um, let's see here. Just update that real quick. In the meantime, I'll get the, this up on the screen here. Y'all can start to take this in. So, like I said, this player council, I... I feel very privileged to be a part of it. Um, and some number of people are like, well, why are you on the player council and not other people? So let me just talk about who's on this player council real quick. So the player council includes content creators. Uh, for example, Plato Gaming was there, Seawell was there, and players that are in large Imperium kingdoms or representatives of large Imperium kingdoms. So Mimi's kingdom is represented. I believe 1846 has representation there. Um, I think 1365 has rep uh, representation there. So like, you know, like the, bi the big kingdoms are represented. Um, and there are community managers there and they're actually the, the, the developers making the choices that are in the meeting. And the conversation has to actually get translated with the exception of Sewell, who speaks Mandarin. The conversations have to get translated. So like my spot 
in in that sort of a meeting is you know like threefold first of all i'm a big content creator for the game second of all yo i've wailed in this game i'm like 120 grand in maybe more at this point so like i i represent like you know the spender perspective and also have a lot of insight into the non-spender perspective and I'm also part of a big kingdom. So, like, I cover a lot of vectors here that I think they're trying to cover with people that are in attendance to this meeting, okay? So, all pay-to-win players, got it. Uh, so, Ruz is also in this meeting, by the way. So, Ruz definitively <laughs> not a pay-to-win player, just for clarity. So, Ruz is your free-to-play representation, who also, by the way, you may recall... Neil, you free-to-play peasants. ...has been quoted as saying, Neil, you free-to-play presence. So, GG. So, um, the first thing they started is like, hey, here's the feedback about formations. What are the big problems? Um, and I'm going to share my thoughts on this, because I have some different things that... I, look, I shared this in the meeting. I straight shared this in the meeting, but like... What they presented is that formations lack depth. Right now, Wedge and Arch are pretty much the only ones that are viable. Um, I think that's not actually true. It's not that those are viable. It's that they're the only ones that make sense to pull. And I'll talk more about that in a minute. They point out that special inscriptions are really difficult to get. So your armament progression is very uneven among players. Like you have the haves and the have-nots. And it's just a huge difference between them. And the ordinary inscriptions are too generic. So the formations, I mean, you know, they, they, their words are they don't reflect different formations and commanders. So like, yes, the inscriptions are literally all the same for all the formations, basically, with, with very, very, very little difference. So let me share with you what I think the main issues are about formations. So this is what they were sharing. My main issue with formations is that it's less about making strategic choices for your gameplay and more about making strategic choices to minimize waste in what you get. Let me explain that. You don't pick wedge or arch formation because they're the only viable formations for commanders. You pick Wedge and Arch because they maximize your possibility of a reasonable outcome. Because if you pull for Wedge or Arch, yeah, OmniArch says the problem is that it's a slot machine. That's that's actually almost exactly what I'm saying, is that, that playing the slot machine meta is more important than playing the game meta, um, which is that you want to maximize your chances of those random pulls being a thing you will use. So with Wedge, you get archers, you're a winner. You get cavalry, you're a winner. You get infantry, you're a winner. But with other formations like V formation, you only are a winner if you get siege and you lose in all those other conditions. So that loss is so massive and so expensive, it's more important to play to your odds than it is to play to the strength of the formations. Straight up. And we talked very briefly about, like, how would you solve that problem? And it's weird because I feel that the system has painted itself into a corner, unfortunately. Your three surface areas for making formation strategic are as follows. There is the effect of the formation. There are the inscriptions. And there are the stats themselves. Well, the stats themselves are not a surface area for strategy. It's, it's pure gamba. That is 100% Gamba, through and through. And the formation itself has such a small effect relative to the stats from the Gamba that it, the formation almost doesn't matter. What Ruz pointed out repeatedly is like, you don't even care what the formation is. You just go with what has more stats in a lot of cases. And the final sort of surface area for making formations strategic would be the inscriptions. But let's talk about how you get an inscription today, right? I mean, you're getting an inscription if you if you spend once a month, maybe, and it might be an epic inscription, which is gonna be worthless to you if you're a spender. It might be a legendary inscription if you're lucky. So like, 
the surface areas for making formations strategic have not really been leveraged. So, so formations are not really about strategy toward picking what is optimal for commanders. Formations today are about minimizing bad outcomes from the Gamba. And like that, that, that would, that's something that I brought up in this meeting as like, hey, my main issue is this, All right? So that, that's what I presented um, in that meeting when, when I had my opportunity to share my thoughts. I also brought up things like, you know, hey, for what it's worth, like, what are you supposed to do with a leadership commander here? Like the stats are all unit specific and leadership is mixed true. Right? So I think formations could easily have been strategic choices, but today I, I, I think that the only people who get to make those strategic choices are the players who spent an astronomic amount and they actually have choices to make. That's my perspective. I think that things like transmutation helped a lot. Like it, 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 transmutation actually is a step in the direction toward like now you're making a strategic choice. But the real strategic choice would have been if inscriptions were more focused on what the formations do. And like, thankfully, I think that's what rare inscriptions are going to address. But now I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. So let's get to the next slide here. So they revealed that they're going to have some upcoming content, two new formations, one of which they revealed to us, and we'll talk more about that. And they're going to have, it looks like on legendary armaments only, a rare quality inscription. Now, the thing about a rare quality inscription is that they said they're trying to bridge the power gap between the legendary inscription and the regular inscriptions. And they're right that like there is a huge power differential between a legendary inscription and a regular inscription. And when the developers were um, volunteering information about the power level of these inscriptions, they said on a scale of like one to 15, that the common inscriptions are about a three in terms of their strength. The legendary inscriptions are like a 15 in terms mm -hmm. of their strength. Yeah. And they're targeting for the rare inscriptions to be between a six and a seven for their strength. So still not even half the strength of a legendary inscription. But they pointed out that like legendary inscriptions are super, super, super rare. And they felt like something needed to bridge the gap between the super rare inscriptions and the common inscriptions. And they also shared that um, although you can't get the legendary inscriptions other than like from the Gamba today for certain slots, that they do plan to add more shops to the game to get the inscriptions for the two other slots that you can't get them for today. I believe that, that that's the... Um, instrument and the emblem yep. right yep yep um what do you think of this so far chadsky i you know i think it's good i i um here, here's the thing that that as a as a very competitive player in whale people like you people like me people that that play this at a high level when we hear the when we hear the term bridge the gap all i'm hearing is i just want to upgrade all of my regular inscriptions to rare inscriptions that's all i'm hearing <laughs> that's that's that, that will be the meta right and that will be what what big whales try to do because so much of the special inscription is chance so much of it is chance and and you do get them in kvk rewards you you do get them here's the thing for me just i'm still spending on armaments every day and do you know why why i don't I, I don't need any armaments. I haven't gotten an upgrade on an armament in three months off anything I've spent in the game. The only reason why is to get the legendary uh, armaments to turn in to the to the right to the courier shop, so I can get that arch formation special inscription. I got to get eight of those shards, and it takes forever. It takes it does. so long it and does. so much money. But that's where I'm at. That's what I have to do, and it just. 
it sucks. It's I, I dude, I we tallied it up. Like you have to spend like if you want to do it rapidly, you have to spend like twenty or thirty thousand dollars to have enough legendary armaments to turn into the courier shop to get eight shards over time. It takes like eight months. And you you have to spend an insane amount to get that one special inscription you can turn the shard in and pick it and apply it. I mean yeah, it's it's so the rare stuff I'm all in for because they make it so yeah. hard and by chance on the gamble to, to, to get the special inscriptions. And then if you actually want to work to get one through the courier shop, it takes it takes a year of spending. It's unbelievable. Right. So a couple thoughts there. First of all, I would say, you know, the developers clarified after the meeting that the, these new formations are not obtainable from the chests you can get today. So there's going to be a new chest, presumably, where you can pick these formations. So you can't really prep for these formations other than maybe if they add rare inscriptions to the exchange, I would consider holding off on doing any exchanges in the short term um, in, in the sort of courier station area in case they put rare inscriptions in there, which they might do. I, I don't know. I would assume they would. I mean, I think the, the big miss... Well, there's like a couple things that I think are like missed opportunities, we'll say, with the formation system. And like one is it really could have been about strategic choices and it isn't. It's about maximizing outcomes from the Gamba. Um, well, and then the other thing is like, how do we diminish the Gamba? And like transmutation stones are still kind of Gamba, but like a step in the right direction of... I'm making choices at least <laughs> about what I what I'm using. Um, so, anyways, uh, let's jump to the next slide here. Uh, they revealed one of the formations is going to be the Testudo formation, which is a shielding and healing boost. Now, I expressed a concern. I was like, "You you know that you already have Hollow Hollow Square, where all the special inscriptions." Are about shield boosts so like what's going on that feels super duplicative with what you already have and they were i and and what they seem to indicate is that perhaps this formation is more about healing but like i'm still pretty anxious about the overlap of these formations so what they want is for formations to have more close alignment to what commanders do which is really obvious with the smite formation that like or, or the smite um addition to the game that like they want you to go for arch formation right they're they're trying to make the choice that you make between the formation type and the commander much more clear um and like Think, think about it this way. It's kind of like in Call of Dragons. Instead of equipment, you have artifacts. And instead of armaments, you have pets. Right? Like, this is your way to sort of customize. But instead of, like, a cute pet, you get, like, a instrument you can't play. <laughs> I don't know. I just opened 50 epic armament crates for Hollow Square for my garrison. And they decide to drop Testudo. Right, so we don't know if Testudo is better or not, but it like, makes me really anxious that it does shielding and healing. Like, if it just did healing, like, fine. There's no formation that does healing. Here, here's what's interesting about the, the hollow square, because we tested the heck out of Gorgo in this KVK, right? <clears throat> and we had a couple of players that have crazy meta hollow square um, stuff. And they're garrison players. And with a couple of the special inscriptions of hollow and their you know their overall you know stats and the things that they have it actually performed really really well like like it, it definitely gave more sustain on a gorgo garrison than maybe an arch formation of the same caliber with special inscriptions it just didn't kick out near as much damage i don't say near as much it just didn't kick out uh, quite as much damage and so if you've gone hollow, that's fine. 
I mean, that's completely fine. You, you, you can run hollow with Gorgo and be completely fine, especially if you get little shield boosts or if you get the, the phalanx, like you said you had, the phalanx inscription, just pop another shield yeah. and you run it with with Constantine and you're getting that skill damage mitigation. So so people don't need to feel like they, they've lost out on investing in hollow because hollow is really, really good for just really universally any kind of garrison because just about every garrison throws up shields. Yeah, I mean, the thing that I feel weird about is like we're adding new formations, but we haven't even made relevant the formations we're already getting armaments for, <laughs> right? Like triple line is not relevant, but it could be. And like hollow is like kind of relevant, but not really. And like it could be made relevant. So I, I don't know, like, 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 let's talk about this for a second. Why in the world would you make a formation for Zeno and Richard the First? Like those commanders are two and five years old. Well, you, you and and, and why. why is Hera you, you know on this why. list you, you, if it's not a meaningful amount of shielding that's going into this formation? So my read on this is that maybe in the not distant future, although it's got to be somewhat distant because. I mean, unless the new archers are about healing, which would shock me, like, why are they about to release a healing formation? Like, I I don't understand. You know what I think it is? I, I, I think it is a mechanic that they're using to help the K1, K2 situation. Um, KVK1 and KVK2, maybe. Yes, because that's the lifeline. We all know this. It's the pipeline and the lifeline. It's the lifeblood of this game is getting players in K1 and K2, keeping them engaged, keeping them playing and spending, and getting them to SOC. So when I ever see a mechanic that helps Richard the First, I'm like, okay, they want these players, these new players to spin the wheel for Richard. They want him to use Richard. They want to make Richard a little bit, maybe a little bit more powerful or a little bit more useful in K1 and K2 and garrisons. And and I think that that's they you you got to think of it at a thirty thousand foot level of what they know um, to be the health of the game, and that is to 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 make mechanics that that benefit K one and K two. I know we look at it; we've been playing it for years, and we look at it like, why why would you even do that? Yeah, but, you know that's that's what I. Anytime I see a mechanic that benefits K one and K two commanders, that's what I think. So the thing that confuses me is like. When you add new formations, I mean, players are not dumb. Like, the goal is presumably to make money. You release new formations so people buy formation crates for the new formations. Like, that to me seems really obvious. So the thing that's so confusing is like, why release a formation that's so obviously distant from relevant commanders today? Like, I don't, like, I, I mean, what I don't understand, and, and what they did say is that the release of formations are going to be way less frequent than new commanders. Like, way less frequent. Um, like, I got the impression, and maybe Plato can jump in because he was in this meeting, that it was more like once a year as opposed to commanders, which are like 4x a year. And so, so Chad is pointing out, like, well, maybe this is for future commanders. And like, yeah, it to they totally could be setting up for some future commander. But it just seems weird to me. Like, <clears throat> if you're gonna just, if you're gonna have commanders and formations that are kind of like linked up in what they do, like just release them at the same time, right? Like, I don't know, call me crazy, but like, here's the new formation related to the new commanders. Here's the new commanders and like, why hide it? You know, I don't know. Um, It could be though that they're, that they're looking back commanders that could have more strategic choices and maybe they're providing more strategic choices so the strategic choices would have to come in the form of these rare inscriptions and i think they'll cover this in a minute but the rare inscriptions are in fact intended to be much more specific to the formation rather than the generic common inscriptions so for the wedge formation they gave the example that the rare inscription might give you rage gain whenever you deal direct damage which like could be really good with sargon for example 
Like, that's a very obvious skill damage commander doing a skill damage thing. I think that is a cool idea. So I would, you know, I would like for the rare inscriptions, hopefully we have choices, but I'm not sure that we do. Like, it's not clear to me if we have one rare inscription per form or per armament, or if it's like multiple rare inscriptions per armament. Do you, do you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like, yep. just like how we have one special inscription, I don't know if it's one rare inscription, but if we like read into this picture too much, the answer will be yes, it's one. Hey, Pangu, thanks for the five gifted, bro. Ooh, Pangu. I've heard that name a couple times. He's in our he KBK, in our and he's in yeah. the Legendary Guard. Yeah, he's he did really good. He was everywhere. Consider um, migrating. 2605, let's go. <laughs> okay, let's Shameless go. plug, disc discounted passport cost, hello. <laughs> joking aside, hope you're doing well, but I'm also not yeah. joking. Welcome to the Smash yeah. Squad. Thank you, oh, appreciate you, bro. <laughs> um, BurnRuzz.com, please apply. So, um, <laughs> if we jump I, back to this. Sorry, what were you going to say, Chad's key? Was I cutting no, you I off was, there? I, I, I was going to say the, the context, and, and here's here's why, one of the most frustrating things to get is on my arch formations, right? Because I'm an arch guy, and, and this goes back to the very beginning when I got a special inscription for arch. I got it on the emblem. It was the 8% the normal attack damage boost. And so I went all in on Arch. So I've got a, I've got Arches for days. I've, I've got a, a year and a half head start on everybody for Arch. And so the hard part is I get one of those skill damage um, inscriptions, right? And I'm just like, okay, that's fine. But when I throw it on, you know, if when I throw it on my Luce or when I throw it on my Gorgo, it doesn't do anything. And so the, the the them saying that hey we're gonna we're gonna make the rare inscriptions more relevant to the formation is great. If you got an arch, then they're gonna probably have a boosted smite, right? That's gonna give you four percent normal attack damage or something. They're they're gonna do some things. It'd be and, pretty and good. Like It'd be pretty good, and I like that. And I and I think you know just like anything else, they throw out formations. There's so many variables to it. There's so many different things to it. And I think they realize that just like you said, it comes down to the gambling on it and and what you get and you know there, some people are running luche with wedge just because they've got 35 percent of stats on their wedge formation like like that's it shouldn't make sense but the actual benefits of the formation not the armaments but just the formation doesn't really matter it doesn't really matter when you're running up the stats from your form from your armaments that high right and so that's I, they're trying to find ways to do this. I like that they did the develop developer kind of Q and A with you guys, kind of on the the player council, and yeah. and it, it, I mean at least they even if they don't listen, at least you're saying it and they have to hear it. <laughs> right. So, <laughs> right. I, I mean, I think the other people in the meeting can share their thoughts, but the meeting vibe is that they did receive like all our feedback, and they you know they'll take that into account in whatever way they take that into account. But, you know, they kind of came in with a plan and they're like, hey, here's here's our plan, right? Um, and it's obviously, like, pretty well thought through um, with regard to, like, what their plan is here. Um, so I hope they'll, like, I genuinely hope they'll take into consideration the feedback that, like, formations could be extremely strategic mm -hmm. and, like, they aren't. And, like, you can still have all the Gamba and have them be strategic. But that's, like, a design thing. Um, so, anyways, with regard to the rare inscriptions, I think you were spot on that, like, that's going to be the chase now, right? Mm -hmm. And what I'll say about that is that they gave an example of the drop rates. And I think the drop rates are actually kind of worse than this, but they said, you know, if, if every 100 armaments, you got one special inscription and 99 common inscriptions. And I actually think it's more like... No, it's like 500. Yeah, it's, it's like a much bigger number. Um, but they gave the example, they said, if today it's one special inscription per every 100, the game plan would to not, it would be to not reduce the drop rate of special inscriptions. It would be to carve out probability space from the common inscriptions to add the rare ones. So yeah. it would be like yeah. one special 
or I, you know, legendary, 90 common and nine rare. Yeah. So yeah. I think that everybody who's got inscriptions and in our moments is going to have to get them all over again to get the rare inscriptions because like they're going to be powerful enough that they're twice as strong as the commons and they're going to be common enough that like you either have them or someone who's going to rally your garrison is going to have them. You're going to lose to them. So um, it's a little bit weird. Like I'm going to have to open wedge all over again for sure to like redo the whole set for every troop I've got. So like a part of what the takeaway here is instead of going for like multiple sets per troop type, you really have to like focus on your best set all the time. And then things that you upgrade from in your best set become your second set. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So if I want to, you know, wedge sets for cavalry, infantry, archers, I should always only work on my best set. I should never work on my second best set. The way to work on the second best set is to work on the best set and cycle down those armaments. Cycle down, yep. yep. Yeah, that's yep. that's the only way to do it. Oh, so and, everything you have today is going to get cycled down for a rare inscription, unless you have a legendary. It's just a matter so, of how long it takes to do that, in my opinion. Double inscriptions are still a pain. Right, so the best... You still can never make your own strategic choice to create a best armament in the game. You can only Gamba for the best armaments. Like the yeah. best armament in the game presumably would be a Gamba double inscription with the special and a rare. I don't know, one in a million, right? <laughs> I don't even know if that's possible. I'm just shooting from the hip. The current best in armament you can get in the game is a Gambud armament, so no strategy deployed on this. It's a Gambud armament with a legendary and a common inscription. Yoda's got one of those. I used to have a link to it. I think I deleted it. Cleaned up all the clutter in my it's not OBS just a, settings. Uh, it's, not, it's not just a special inscription with a with a common inscription that really doesn't matter, like a March speed one. It, I mean, it's it's hard to get one that actually matters. <laughs> that actually right, right, right. Two two relevant inscriptions, including the legendary inscription. Yeah, 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 for sure. So, you know, it's, yeah, go go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say, um, it, it, you know, it's funny because oh, go ahead and finish your thought because mine's more about something else. But go ahead. Oh, what you were all right, well, I was just gonna jump to the next slide be honest yep yep let's do that all right cool um so how do you get these armaments so the good news is they are going to try to make them more available um the existing methods are travel dispatch events bundles and armament chests i would say of all these things the primary vehicle is the armament chests slash bundles i mean that's like bundles and armament chests are kind of like almost the same thing I guess that there are a bunch of ways now to get armament crates. Like, I mean, it still involves some spending, but like, for example, the uh, Lucerne Scrolls. Like, there are, there are a few more ways. There's the Alliance Mobilization. Like, there are some more ways from events. But that, that's events. I don't know, whatever. You could consider Lucerne, Lucerne Scrolls bundles. Like, bundles is the main way. Um, So, they're going to have a limited time event coming after the update. So a limited time event's a little weird for me. Like, is that a one-time event? Or like, what? what is that? Limited time. Usually a limited time event is like, Lubu was a limited time event, right? So um, you'll earn rewards like rare formation choice chests based on how many armaments you've collected. So this is kind of interesting because I have played games before where they like really deeply respect your investments into the game. Like very, very, very deeply respect your investments into the game. And anytime they change anything related to an investment you've made in the game, they fully refund and let you reallocate if you want to. Um, and that's a little bit what this feels like, maybe. My hope is that the developers would sort of demonstrate that same level of commitment to investments we've already made in the game, but like, I, I don't know. I mean, you, all you have to do is look at a, equipment dismantling legendaries to be like, uh, mm. uh, <laughs> uh. 
I, I, you know, I think there are a couple of things just generally in the game that they could do. Um, you know, whether that's, you know, coming up with some kind of equipment situation, like you and I have, you and I have legendary critted gear for infantry, right? But it's for, le it's legendary critted. And if there was a way you could like take a blueprint, I don't know, take an iconic crystal and be able to change the, the crit for legend or for, for, uh, leadership and move it over to to infantry right um there are all ways to take you know heads you put into barca and right you know can you trade those in for just uh, you know five to one trade for universal heads so you can keep up with the matter I, I think there are some things they can do that they're, they're well, blind to it sometimes you know I, I think the talent system is is respectfully very strange like very, 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 very strange. Without getting into the gamba of getting your talent, which is a whole separate matter, the fact that you have to choose what you're a talented for is the weirdest thing to me. I don't understand it. So like, where is that even relevant? Obviously on the archer pieces, you're picking archers. The infantry pieces, you're picking infantry. The cavalry pieces, you're picking cavalry. So like, what is the point of the talent system other than to make people craft more leadership gear? Where like, you're talenting something leadership and it's got, you have to have an infantry leadership, archer leadership, or, but but then leadership's now in this weird place where leadership gear exists. So the talent system makes no sense in it this context no at all, sense. at all. Like what they should do, and this would solve so many problems where like the gear is either talented or not. Why do you pick what it's talented for? It doesn't make any sense anymore. And it and it doesn't, it doesn't make any you, sense anymore. Yeah, and, if they, and that if solves they a big problem because then you can use leadership commanders with your infantry gear if you want. And the leadership gear should be better for mixed anyways. So you should want the leadership gear, right? And have that talented. Mm -hmm. um, and like, I don't know. I mean, the amount of extra spending people do has got to be so small. Like, why not actually open up more strategic possibilities with what I'm proposing with these talents? My two cents on, on talents. But you know what I do like about the tiered equipment system, which we're going to talk about in a minute, is that there's no gamba. There's just gains. And that's the way yep. I think all systems should be, personally. Yep. There's no gamba at all. There's just gains. And, like, and they're incremental. And, like, that's how gains should be. Right? Like... I, I mean, I'm not going to beat the dead horse here, but I've said for ages that when you refine equipment, if you're 20% refined, you should get 25% of the bonuses. If you're 50% refined, you should get 50% of the bonuses. It should never be an all or nothing where you can spend a ton and get literally nothing because that doesn't feel good. <laughs> okay, so anyways, um, I'm curious what this new limited time event is going to be. I got the impression there were going to be more events though that... Um, are Chiss has something with Gamba today. I just really, I genuinely want Rise of Kingdoms to be a game we're all playing like 10 years from now, right? And like things that irk players have to be strategically eliminated and replaced with actual strategic choices if that's going to be a true statement, right? Right? Like making money and um, making fun design choices do not have to be mutually exclusive. In fact, the point of game design, as I understand it, is to, like, make the spending choices really fun. And look, I, like, this is not even me saying this. Like, Mimi's representatives were in the meeting saying that they... I mean, look, I'll give you their exact words. I think they put it in the chat. What did they say? I'm just scrolling through the chat here. Um, so, so this is Kingdom 1175's representative. And, and this is really just like a specific player, but I, I assume they're representing their kingdom, right? When they say, who wants to spend money on random gacha? Even Mimi and Kang say inscription gacha is garbage. Yeah, two of the highest spenders in the game, right? Those are, yeah, Mimi's got two billion power accounts. 
You do not want your, your billion power players to say that this is garbage. A spending vehicle <laughs> in the game is garbage. <laughs> right? Like, I mean this in the most respectful way possible, right? Um, so, anyways. You know, I, it, it, it's funny because if you look at this, like, is it, there's some things in the chat just saying, hey, it's a cash grab, grab and go. Chisco, you've been a part of games and you understand how this thing works. You've been a part of uh, pay to win games. And there's always kind of that level of of where the game has run its course and the developers of the game are keenly aware of the health of the game new players coming into the game and i think looking at it from a business sense when you see that start to fall off and you're trying to create mechanisms to and and things in the game to try to bring in new players and and eventually that well runs dry then that's when games go with a cash cash grab right they they, they just start giving everything away and we're gonna we're gonna milk it for all it's worth rock is not in that situation i i you know listen there's a lot of players that are old players that are retreads and they hate the game or they play it and they they've realized their addiction to it they don't like it or whatever they talk crap about the game but the fact of the matter is that the game is is continuing to grow at a very good rate so I, I, trust me if Lilith is not looking at anything like a cash grab like the game is dying they 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 see it they see that the game is continuing to grow you guys see the new kingdoms that are being made they're the new servers are developing like every four days that's that is and that's not just jumper accounts those are new people coming into the game right and so the 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 game overall is in a good health situation so I I, I rule out any kind of a quote unquote cash grab that the game is trying to do like typical games in the past have done when they when the well is dry i, I, I mean, don't think i'm with lilith yeah I, I just think the vehicles for generating money for the game to continue to fund the game which like i'm on board for does not have to be at odds with you know like making strategic choices yes um you, you and even perfectly right even you gamba said, systems in other games Right, have a lot of strategic choices that you make, even though there's a lot of Gamba involved. Um, and the reason that you've got Mimi and Kang, I think, saying that it's a garbage system, in their words, is because there aren't actually strategic choices. <laughs> like, if your Gamba led to strategic choices, then there would be strategic choices. Um, so I think the developers are trying to address that um, a little bit. And, I, and, you know, I think the thing that players want to see is that to be addressed a lot. So, anyways. Um, if I jump to the next slide here. Their future plans. So they want to see if any commanders or combat roles lack a suitable formation. And periodically add new more formations for them. They want to optimize and uh, update announcements and the experience of upgrading armaments and focus on making the game more fun without putting too much pressure on players, which like, <laughs> you you can't release a, you can't release a finely tuned formation without, I think, putting pressure on the rallies and garrisons to immediately wail aggressively to try to, to meta for that, like to try to min-max that, right? Um, like, for example, if one of these new formations is the best formation for the new archers, you're going to spend on that formation, right, Chadsky, until you get the special inscriptions for that formation, right? Presumably. Something like that. I mean, you might not be the archer guy, but like, do you see what I'm saying? So, so I don't know. Um, what they did mention is that the formations we have are intended to be more generic and the formations we're getting are intended to be more specific. So I think your average player who's mostly a fielder might be fine with just like the formations we have today. It may not actually have a need for the new formations, which I think would be a good thing. Um, yeah, let me just check my notes here and see if there's anything else to talk about. Right, like all in all, like I still really love Rise of Kingdoms gameplay, and it's like a very fun game for me. 
the core mechanic of the game is, which is like rallying, garrisoning, and fielding, right? Um, and so when things come into the game, I'd like for them to be about truly strategic choices that I'm making. And equipment did that a little bit, right? Although they added a huge Gamba Flare to the top end of it. Although there aren't even that many equipment choices, truth be told, right? Like you're either doing A or B and it's kind of like obvious if you know what you're doing, which one you're doing. And there's not actually a lot of choice to that. Um, so what do I have in my notes? Regarding rare inscriptions, we talked about the probability already. We talked about the power level. Um, regarding the difference between new and old armaments and armament randomness. They said in January 2024, planning to release armaments with specific stats to solve the randomness. They said something like that. I don't know if you're in here, Plato, but I... I made a note of that, but I didn't quite understand it. Also, apparently they're cutting the grass outside. My apologies. Um, <laughs> let's see. They said that the rare inscriptions were intended to smooth out the difference uh, between the legendary inscriptions and the common inscriptions. They said they're going to add more content for players to obtain armaments. And they said they want to narrow down the variance and randomness of armaments in the future, but that ultimately that is a part of the formation and armament system. Um, they said they're going to control the timing and release of the new formations. Um, and so, for, you know, they ha they gave the example of the release schedule for commanders. So they want to have like something, I guess, kind of predictable for when new formations are going to drop. They said the development of formation and armaments is more complicated, so the time is longer. And they're going to choose a longer period of time for updating new formations. Again, sorry, you can hear that. Uh, I guess there's a lawnmower in the background here. Um, a lot of the stuff we already talked about. Their goal is for the formations to make commanders more strategic and fun to play with, which I think is a good goal. Um, the devs want to make formations and armaments more f fitting to specific commanders. And that covers my notes on that. You actually can't hear it? Wow, it's so loud for me. You thought your computer was overheating? It is not your computer overheating. Yeah, God, your computer is going to explode, GG. Um, so any questions about armaments or formations before we jump to the next topic here? You know, I I did notice one thing in the, and this is, I think, something that needs to be noted. When we were running garrisons in this KVK, and for people who didn't see this KVK 2605, we put up 225 billion kill points from one alliance, GG. Um, <laughs> we literally did a 1v6. <laughs> and so and it was so much fun and we got a couple of guys in here from leadership of other kingdoms saying hey great thanks for the fights it was, it was it was a lot of fun um you know and so we were able to garrison a lot and and take a lot of information from from what things mean and let me just let me just be real here we ran the gorgo garrison a lot yeah i don't i don't too much, have the, to be yeah, honest almost too much we didn't have <laughs> yeah, to, to be I, honest I, I, I don't have on my particular account it's a cav account so i don't have the kvk talented equipment for infantry i have full crit uh of, of the set pieces and stuff but i don't have kvk talented stuff and i've got a crit horn i don't have a crit you know the ring i ran great score i think for gorgo but so when it comes to the arch formation uh, benefits i get with my special inscriptions i've got that i got that as much as anybody if not more but what I found out, Chisco, was that my garrison didn't quite perform like as well as Peace's garrison or yours. And it was, I'm sitting there looking at it. I'm just like, do the special inscriptions I have for, for, for infantry on my formations, it would make up the difference for the fact that I don't have KDK critted stuff and I don't have all the accessories critted. And it didn't. And so to me, it, 
it, it has to be noted that equipment is still super relevant, super, super relevant at the highest, highest end. Does that make sense? Yep. And so it is, it, you know, the, obviously the meta is to have all KVK crit stuff, the best gear you can get, which you have, uh, just go for your infantry. And then to also have as many special inscriptions for a particular formation that benefits a particular commander. That's the meta. And I had the special inscriptions. I didn't quite have the gear and I did not perform as well with as you did when you had all the gear and your your armaments and formations were great, but they weren't they weren't at the level of special inscriptions in mine are. Nope. You actually performed better. So so did it I? has to be no yeah, I, I, I think so. I think you did. Um when it just came down to it. I think I know Peace did. And so and if she did, then you would. Um huh from that standpoint i and maybe it, it's not necessarily quote unquote better but it's it still has to be noted that equipment and kvk equipment is is still very very powerful and strong and makes up the difference if you don't quite have only gonna be more powerful when we talk about this one in a minute nah, that's oh, what's gonna man. Be fun. I'm, I'm trying to give you a segue <laughs> yeah true uh warren thank you for the super chat lots of rumors that lilith will stop the ability to transfer gold is anything like this mentioned no no mention of that at all um f2p god wait is that uh is that pvp -ness? New name, F2P God. It's Roz. It is not Roz. This is a way better name. <laughs> like, I almost can't say your other name out loud, but like F2P God is like a great branding. Sasuke, great question. Um, and, and, and I think it segues into uh, some of the some of the equipment conversation that you're going to get into. You oh. know, queuing up KBKs frequently is kind of meta i mean it's what you want to do um increases the probabilities of getting special inscriptions through the autark system and it also um just purely gives you more coins to get kdk equipment and and so that is that if you're in a kingdom that that runs a KVK and runs a hard KVK and then takes two or three skips because you're going to recover or something to that effect then then you're going to fall behind you're you're just going to fall behind um part of the reason why 60 gt is so powerful is because for about a year and a half they took first pops every time they didn't care they didn't care who they fought they didn't care they took first pops every time so they have more iconic crystals they have more kvk equipment blueprints yeah they have they have more autark they have uh, more everything bro. more everything and, and it's because they took first pops literally for a year and a half they, they ran like eight kvks in like a, an 18 month period like they just ran them non-stop and so that's that is part of how you have to be at the competitive advantage at the very highest end and so i mean we're, we're dealing with it now we're so depleted <laughs> 2605 we're, we're gearing up the credits and everything and we have the spending and the capabilities to say hey as a player yeah we can go first pop again we get speed up so fast and we're yeah we, we gotta spin. go first pop broski like we gotta, and, and we gotta take pops how we fast if we can. That's how we do it, and yeah. so and that's and we see that. And it just game's more fun that way, it. anyways. Although it's a big yeah, time 100%. commitment. Hundred percent. The issue then becomes resources, which like, yeah, it's not feasible if you drain yourself every KVK. Yeah, the amount you can feel definitely goes down. Um, you have to have a way to get resources for sure. For sure. Um. So, the next topic is equipment and they said hey what do you think about this and they showed this picture of the dragon's breath bow now we already had the effects of the dragon's breath bow from uh previous information released by the developers but the thing that's new is the material cost for the upgrades the thing that i find so shocking i mean and i gave this feedback but like it feels like the developers keep painting themselves into a corner without expandable systems. Like, I don't know how you expand this system to tier 10 if you wanted to. But, like, won't we have the same problem of, wait a minute, there's nowhere to spend materials? Like, if you're a whale two years from now, isn't it the same problem that's being induced here? 
um, because the cost is going up. So what's interesting about this is that it's very low at the start. Like this is 20 materials and one blueprint. Well, we saw the effects of the boots and other slots. So either the developers are saying the cost is going to be the same for all slots, in which case you're going to start with the ones that give bigger effects, which is like weapons, chests, helmets. The last thing you do is boots or gloves. Or the boots or gloves and gloves are going to have a much lower cost. Like it would need to be much, much, much lower. Like eight materials at the start. It's a little confusing to me what that game plan is going to be. But it, but it is weird to me that the cost goes up by as much as it does. Because if they just made it a static cost for every level, then they could have infinite expandability, theoretically, of this system. But they didn't I, do I, that. I think, I, I think, you know, when you look at this, Chisco, it's going to take so long, uh, especially for the high-end players, to try to max out a Tier 5 full set, maybe two full sets. That's... That's that is I mean, a work in progress. It's going to take a long but, time. But it is and it isn't. Let's talk about this. So it's four blueprints, which is the same you would need to guarantee and refine something, right? Four blueprints. And if I'm refining the bow, how many materials is the bow? It used to be ninety, but then it got. Is it no, get the bow still The bow is the bow still ninety. Is so it? the KVK the KVK weapon came from one fifty. KVK back. stuff is insanely discounted. Okay, yep. so if it's ninety materials, right? If I'm gonna have to get racked, which I probably am gonna get racked and refine four times, okay, we're looking at one hundred and eighty materials, right? In a worst case, well, here isn't this less than one hundred and eighty materials? Mm -hmm. Um, actually, it's one hundred and eighty-five materials, isn't it? No. Yes. Math. Um, so it's the, it's slightly more materials than refining. You're guaranteed to have to use all those materials, but at least you get incremental progress. It's it's the blueprints, bro. It just takes forever. The blueprints it's are just going to take, well, and the materials are going to take time. I mean, yeah. 185 I mean, it, materials? So hey, like, broski. And, but, and if the other slots are less materials than like, Chat, let's do some math. Like, what do we think the other slots are going to be? So, I'm going to make a sheet, right? I'm going to open up a blank spreadsheet. And we know that for the weapon, um, for two, three, four, and then five, you're looking at 20, 35, 50, and 80. We know that a weapon costs 90 base, right? We know that chest and... Let's see here. I got to update this. Slot. Cost to craft. Okay. So the we know that the weapon is 90 to craft. We know that chest and legs and, and also helmet, right? 60, I think, right? Are 60. So that's two-thirds. So if we... If we and sort of figure out what the cost would be if it scales that way. Right? The total materials for a weapon, we talked about, I'm just putting it into a formula, is 185, but some you're of about, that. You're about 110 on the others? Somewhere around there? 120? Um, I can give you the exact number in just a second. So 185 for that. For the chest, it would be 100. For chest legs and boots, it would be a or not boots, uh, chest leg and helmet. It'd be 120 about 123 and a third technically. Um, and for boots slash gloves, which cost 40, you're looking at um four ninths of the amount so i can get you that number it would be 82 and for the accessories which they did not actually talk about but those are going to take four effing ever right <laughs> Th think about it the accessories those patterns are going to take literally forever okay so here's my point though that i'm trying to make is that it's gonna take time 
And so just like Iconic Crystals came out and we're just now kind of maxing oh, those out. <laughs> um, oh, man. Who's to say, because you're talking about how to tier this up to stage six, stage seven, tier eight, tier nine, all that stuff. Right. Who's to say there isn't another component or another mechanism or another item that you can use to tear it up, right? That's that the yeah. item is hard to get. Like it's a KDK item and you call it the the freaking holy grail, whatever you're gonna call it. <clears throat> and you can get one of KDK and that lets you tear up to to tier six of some of this stuff. So I think there are some things they can always do. You ready, to... Shadsky? Yeah. So the cost to do if they scale it the way that we're talking about, where it's less materials proportionally to the crafting cost for things like boots, etc., then you're looking at about 720 legendary materials to take, if you had all the patterns, to make a full set per set. That's what it's going to run you. Not accessories. That's, no accessories. That's a lot. That's a lot. Now... You want to hear what's crazy though, Mr. Chatsky, is that I think I could, I could almost do that on like day one for infantry, actually. <laughs> but the problem is I don't have the patterns for. Um, patterns are going to take a long time. But like I said, I, 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 I think when you're you're concerned with, hey, you're running up the cost so much, where does it go in tier six? I, I always think there's new mechanics in the game, new items that they could present to the game to allow you to unlock a higher tier there. And so, you know, overall, I, I do like it because we're, we're stuck right now. I literally have eight sets of full critted gear, eight sets. I got three cavalry sets, I got two archer sets, I got two infantry sets, I got one leadership set. I have eight, I have nothing to craft right now. I can't craft anything. I'm just refining rings and horns and now doing some greatest glories. Um, and so <clears throat> from that standpoint, being able to add this new mechanic to upgrade, especially my rallies and garrisons, um, that's, that's, you got to consistently make the game. And I know we look at it like, oh my gosh, it's more investment. But if you're going to play the game at a high level, you're going to continue to invest. That's just the way it is. And so that's, I, they have to do these things. I'm okay with it. I, I, you know, I like trying. I mean, the one thing about Rise of Kingdoms, and you can argue this, um, but the fact of the matter is, it's one of the most competitive, if not the most competitive game I've ever played. And it's competitive in a sense that you have to not only be the best you can be as a player, <clears throat> for whatever your role is, you have to have a whole team of people. You have to have hundreds of people. Yep you know, fighting yeah. for a cause yeah. and it makes it so competitive. And so with the, and that's what we love about the game. We don't want the game to be less competitive. You know, we, they, the, the whole thing about going into KVK and doing this and getting your matchups and going to fight zones and seeing what your limitations are as a, an alliance or a kingdom and, and having bragging rights and getting the rewards. I mean, the way this game is structured and set up, there is nothing like it. There's nothing like it. And so, you know, if people want to, you know, hate on the game or they want to say, oh, this just makes it more competitive, it's 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 just natural um, because the game is so competitive and you always want to be striving for something. Because right now with equipment, I am striving for nothing and it's boring. It's very boring. I'm just collecting patterns. That's so all I'm doing. I'm just hanging out collecting patterns and I got a bunch of freaking materials. And so if you can, if you can put mechanics in the game to continuously try to make it goal oriented, and those of us who are high achievers and those of us who want to be competitive, we have to be goal oriented. We have to go strive for something. And so I think that's what continues to make the game a lot of fun is mechanics like these. And so we, you can dissect it and say, hey, this is wrong. They need to do this. They need to do that. I get it. Uh, but at the same time, not being, the game can't stay stagnant. It just can't. Because you're going to have players like me that get disinterested that like, I have nothing to work towards. But now with this, guess what I'm doing with this every set? I'm buying the freaking bundle to get hammers and I'm going to go get blueprints. That's what I'm doing. And so right. I don't even need them, <laughs> but now so, I do, right? Right. So like top end players really, you know, are interested in having this extra stuff to do. But I think the big concern then becomes 
What about the players who aren't at the top end? And like, how are they supposed to even step onto the field again? You know how someone... they step onto the, they, step, they step onto the field like we saw hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of players who are not max spenders step onto the field against us in this KVK. You still have a role. That's that's I think the beauty of the game, and it gets forgotten. Like like people who are are mid to low spenders or free to plays, they're like, well, what's my role? Like, what can I do? What do you mean? What can you do? You can have a freaking account that you can go roll out three, four, or five marches, make it help make a difference in the field. You can have ten farms that can fill flags like crazy. There's all kinds of stuff you can do to be a, a relevant, important player that's part of a team. And so that's the whole mechanic of the game. That's what the game is all about. And so you have to have that community and everybody has a role. And so people cannot look at this like it's a, it's a, oh, well, just the rich getting richer and those of us are going to get killed. No, you're not. You're a part of it. You know how many times <laughs> just the sheer volume that we needed this KVK? I was like, God, I wish we had about 50, you know, free to play players with five farms apiece Bro, with I, a bunch of freaking I'm going to be Something real with job. you. Like, I feel like we should be considering a second alliance, personally, but whatever. That's my opinion. Um, Burnrez.com if you want to apply. One Alliance Kingdom, we're crazy, but you sure do get a ton of goldies. Um, so, that said, by the way, if you don't contribute pretty big, you are asked to leave. So, um, not, not a kingdom for everyone. Uh, I calculated the number of legendary materials I have. And I have 900 legendary materials. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. And this is still from the, the refund, right? That they gave. This is in part from the refund. Um, and this is after critting a, gl a Greatest Glory. Which cost me a lot of materials, broski. That cost me... 300 legendary materials. Ooh. So I had 1,200 legendary materials. And I crit a gr Greatest Glory. So, GG. Um, and, and listen, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to. to how many UKS says this guy's great. He's from 634, and he's one of the leaders over there. He's been awesome to work with as we've done that flow and stuff. Um, but he said, "Yo, Chatsky's trying to humble the free to play." I'm not trying to humble them. I'm trying to to, to empower them. Like, like they're you know people look at any kind of any kind of mechanics that the game introduces that it appears quote unquote that the that the, the rich get richer and the whales get even more powerful but that's just simply not the case um there are always going to be nominal ways that free to plays and low spenders can utilize some things and do some things dude we've got a we've got a free to play in our kingdom larion you know that guy at chiskel he was in the second alliance last game okay we uh, we promoted him to the to the main alliance he's free to play he's 70 million power he racked up 2 billion kill points this kvk dude what am he i knows doing how to i just play. completely misaligned my troops there i'm gonna lose this match. farms and he stuffs flags and he does all the things he is so valuable really to dumb. our to our kingdom and our goals that it's just like oh my gosh like that <clears throat> those are the kind of players that that the game allows to to make important and that's the whole point of this. That's the whole point of the community. And so, you know, free to plays that are highly active with a bunch of farms, I mean, that's the meta right now. And so that's just kind of where you're at with this some is like of this a super stuff easy that, win. I'm trying to empower people who are like most super, super free easy. Like, there's a I massive think. role for you. There is, whether you like it or not, whether you get hated on by by spenders or not. I mean, they're they're there is so much utility for those for those types i mean i just i'm sitting here and i'm watching 615 defend these flags while we're burning through them right and they have so many farms and so many free-to-play players that fill and that pop out of cities and that that you know they might not trade great against us Maybe but this there's is so, not so much win. utility in the end goal for 615 and all their allies to win this kvk and it was such a pain in the ass to deal with. And it, and it was just so good strategically of what they were doing. And it was just like, if for anybody that says, well, I'm free to play and I don't matter. You're, you're so full of it, dude. Then you don't understand how this game works. And so it's... it's Dang, it, 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 throwing down. Holy moly. Well, I, I, I'm just saying, it's just, it's a not, the, the, just the notion that, that more mechanics 
and more ways for for the high high end players who are your rallies and garrisons to get better that that doesn't mean that there's more of a cavernous difference between them and free to plays because there always is the role for the free to plays there always is and so if it discourages you as a free to play well i can't compete well you're not trying to compete you're not trying to compete with people who are spending a ton of money. You're trying to compete in the sense that you are a part of a team that's trying to get a goal done and you are very important to that team. And you can't just, you know, throw your hands up and say, well, I quit. You know, it's, it's just, you got to understand. not surprising to hear you say like, bro, don't forget your role is to be a part of a team. Like, and I think you're not wrong that like, look, if you're trying to be a rock, like a solo rock star contributor, you're, and you're not going to spend you're definitely in the wrong game like a hundred percent like you should be playing something like league of legends i don't know where you can't you can't spend to get an advantage at all right like you so to remind people that like the reason you play this game is to be a part of a team i think is a fair reminder um I, no i i mean I think Chadsky's onto something here, which is that, like, guys, this is a pay-to-win game. Like, your expectation is to be free to play and compete with whales. Like, you're going to be really disappointed. But if your expectation is to play on a team where people have different levels of contribution, then that's a different yes. matter entirely. Like, and I think that's where mm -hmm. this game is going to be really rewarding for you Here, here's an easy way to look at this um and anybody who knows sports okay knows the chicago bulls right michael jordan's the pinnacle he's the meta of metas and they won six championships they had dennis rodman on their team and that dude didn't do anything but rebound that's all he did they didn't ask him to score points they didn't ask him to do anything everybody has a role on a team i, I played football professionally I was one of the big uglies, the guys that has no credit. The only time I got I got any kind of notoriety is when I had a holding penalty or gave up a sack, okay? But I had a role on my team. I didn't score the touchdowns. I didn't throw the touchdowns. I didn't do all that stuff. I didn't get the sacks. And I, I wasn't one of the guys that anybody even knew, but I had a role to play. And everybody has a role to play. And that's the, right. and you said the one word that everybody has to understand, and the word is expectation. What is your expectation in that? If you go in thinking you want to be the best player in this game, it's not going to happen unless you spend an, an insane amount of money. If you go in thinking, I'm going to be a part of a team that's going to be the best team in this game, okay, now you're starting to think, right, what's your role? What's your expectation in your role? Because you have a role. Everybody has a role. I'm just telling you. It doesn't matter if you're a free-to-play in the third alliance of a big kingdom, or it doesn't matter if you're a free-to-play in the in, in, in the alliance we have in 2605, that's a one-alliance kingdom. You have a role to play. And so... You, there's one thing in this game that that you cannot make a substitute for. Number one is the investment in money, and number two, the the other thing is the activity. Straight up, that's just how it works. If you are highly active, low spender, free to play, you have a very crucial role for any kingdom you might be in. It's just I, I'm just speaking truth. I'm not trying to sugarcoat anything. That's just the way it is. Yeah. So, I mean, I think we've covered at this point the majority of the information about the equipment and also the majority of the information about the armaments um any other questions about that i'm getting out my gathers because you boy cheese ghoul needs resources yeah you do I can see you 2293 in this thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Need some more SS Broski. Um, hey, just go. I have a question. Uh, Gorgo Liu Cha. Can it be a rally? Um, we tried. <laughs> well, how did it do? It didn't do that good. And so. <laughs> so it did not do well? It, it, well, it wasn't like the, the worst thing ever, but it, it definitely wasn't, you know, you're. You're even against the meta garrisons now. If you go full infantry and you're running Gorgo Constantine, or you're running Gor Xeno you know, Gorgo or something for for kind of the, the the meta garrison right now, you're just best going, you know, Nevsky Justinian or Henry um, with Luce or something like that. I mean, those those are those are still your best rallies. Gorgo Luce, or um, I'm sorry, Henry Z Huge Zuge. 
And then if you're going to go like a Gorgo Luce, it's just not going to perform near as well. It's just not. It's not built for it. That's not what it's built for. Um, chat says, why didn't they make a Iconic Crystal on every upgrade to throttle the velocity? I mean, I think that's a little oppressive to require an Iconic Crystal for every single upgrade. Like, most people still need to take the equipment to Iconic tier to begin with to realize those gains. So, you're right that it would throttle things, but like, does it need to be more throttled? I don't know. Most people are not going to have a max everything, that's for sure. Um, so, here's what I think we're going to do then. Iconic would be way better than a blueprint. I mean, an Iconic instead of a blueprint would be an interesting idea, but I think in my eyes, a part of the developer's objective was like, how do we get people to continue to spend on patterns? And like, well, you make more use for patterns, right? Um, so we're going to shift gears here and we're going to go check out Zenless Zone Zero. Oh, nice. Yeah. So this is a different game entirely. It is a roguelike game. This is perfect timing. I got to run into the shop, buddy. But I, I, right on. I appreciate it. I'm sorry for getting on a soapbox. <laughs> it's all good, dude. I appreciate you popping in, man. And hope the chat has fun today and you guys enjoy this, this new game. It's what you do best. Dude, it, I mean, it's a totally different game from Rise of Kingdoms. Uh, and yep. it definitely has gotcha. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> this is actually a gotcha game. Um, but the combat is so smooth and so fun. You'll oh, see. Gee, look at this. I mean, look at this. All right, parting gift. I'm out. Appreciate hey, you. Hey, take care, broski. Appreciate Thanks you, man. Hey, thank you for the five gifted, man. All right, here we go. For those of you that want to check out Zemla's Zone Zero, you can play free to play. And there is a link in the description to apply for the beta. This is the closed beta footage, and I have special permission to be streaming and sharing it. So, like I said, this is a roguelike game. So essentially, you're dungeon crawling. Let me just move this real quick. Okay, there we go. All right. So, uh, this is kind of your character. It's a little bit complicated, but you've got a team that you build of agents. Standing by. And you go on missions Need using your agents. My services are expensive. And it's time to shine. each one has a very different play style. I only have three agents, but we'll do some pulls for some agents in a bit. Um, I'm still getting through like some of the early kind of story. So we'll get through some of the story pretty quickly here and get to some combat. Because the combat in this game is insane. So, there's a bunch to this story. Feels like you're in a pretty, like, dystopian world. And, um, you go on missions, battling against these monsters that I only sort of understand why they're here. And this is literally your cell phone. You get text messages with some missions here. I'm not even really paying attention to what he's saying, but... If he's got a mission for me, I'll just take it. All right. And here is where you can look at the missions that are available. I actually have no missions right now. I need to do main story. So we'll do the main story. Zenla Zone Zero is made by the same folks who made Genshin Impact. 
So, you know this game is very likely to pop off. I get a scratch card here. He gave me some coins. GG. Quest is over here. We got a rendezvous with the coffee shop with the Tin Master. The Tin Master introduces the Helper. All right. We are a video store manager for what it's worth. And normally I enjoy reading through the story, but when I'm streaming, I feel like I should go through it like pretty quickly and I'm going to try to get to combat. Oh, I'm supposed to say game on. Whoopsies. I like really didn't do that right. Ooh, what am I doing here? These look fancy. I can just confirm this, I guess. This is the part where actually paying attention to the story is kind of important. Apparently, they're collecting cards. Here's the promoter. The event is... Okay, there we go. Let's do our best, chat. All right, give me a mission and let's go do some combat. Okay, get back to our video shop. How many of you have actually uh, played Genshin Impact? Drop it in the chat. This is my video store manager. I'm getting business. Which is a good thing. Looks like I need to select a promoter. They're both happy. Let's use her today. And now we select some movies. A documentary, we'll add that. They want action, adventure, and fantasy. No documentary. We have adventure. We have action. Additional rewards. Marshall, Ina, Shadows. I don't actually have that one. Actually, oh, I do have a fantasy one. I guess this is what we do. I actually don't know how to do this too much yet, so I'm just going to hit start. Sure. So you passively make some currency, I guess, with your movie collection. But the thing I want to do is the dungeon crawling. Okay, I think we finally got a mission here. Maybe. Nope, not yet. What is this? Welcome to the VR trial. Please decide a difficulty for the challenge. Alright. Please set a target for the challenge. Uh, let's do this guy. Okay, they want me to do this one. The reward for the challenge is at the bottom. Create to target. Okay. It's a custom training plan. All right. 
to our training. Ready for combat. Maybe now we get to do some combat. Ambi, in position. Nothing to fear. The cunning hairs are here. I have two guns, so double the accuracy. All right. Let's do this thing. All right, chat, we finally get some combat. So I have several types of attacks, and you switch between your agents. Switching between agents at the right time can initiate a perfect dodge, which is super powerful. There are several different strengths of attack that I can do. And there's also a dash slash dodge that I can do. Attacking from range seems so good against these guys in particular, although they can shoot at me. Oh, he hit me. Actually hit me. There was a perfect dodge. And here is my ultimate. So switching between my agents is both a vehicle for dodging and obviously you can do different things. Uh, let's switch to him. I just like his damage so much. My turn. Be gone. So we beat that level. The combat is so good. Confirm. It's really fun and really fast paced. And that was not, by the way, the roguelike, which we'll get to still. We're not there yet. I guess something in the mail. What do we got here? Okay. We got a mission to do. What's over here? I don't really want to rest yet. We have a quest out here we can take. New message. Ooh. Save me? <laughs> That'll cost extra. Dude, what an ass. Um... He's got a new client for us. What kind of new client? How much are you getting paid to show this? Literally nothing. Uh, they gave me access to the closed beta in exchange for making a video, which is really hype. I'm in. I listed it as sponsored because like technically they did give me access to the game in exchange for making a stream or vid, but like... I was interested in playing this game, so I'm actually really hyped to have access. Uh, great. I have a new mission. Let's do something. Let's go fight. Also... Okay, there's the new mission. Let's do some pulls here. So the way you do, you do pulls is with this thing called a signal search, I believe. I've done no pulls. So let's actually do some pulls. And see what happens. These are regular pulls. I mean, let's see how we do. Come on, baby. First pulls in this game. If I get lucky, it would actually be insane. How are we going to do? 
an A and a bunch of Bs. All right, well, seems pretty basic. Is this a gacha game? Yes. We got a bang boo. Dude, I really need equipment, so glad to get some stuff that I can put onto my agents here. Another bang boo, the explore boo. I don't really know <clears throat> how to use bang boos yet, other than I know they come on, on missions with me. Magnetic Storm Bravo. The Vortex Arrow. Vortex Revolver. Another Bang Boo. Sumo Boo. Okay, I see what you did there. I already got the Explorer Boo, so some of these are dupes already. Oh! Hey, yo! New Agent? That's actually Big Poggers. Okay, we're definitely using her. New agent, huge W. It's actually a huge W. Let's go again. That was huge. New agents, huge win. What do we got? Only one A again? Am I guaranteed to get... Am I actually just guaranteed to be getting an agent like that? Okay, so now we get to figure out what happens when you get a duplicate of an agent, huh? Now we now we get to figure out what happens when you get a dupe. We can do this two more times, so yeah, we're gonna do that. Let's go! Three A's this time? Okay. We get the engine. The vault. What the heck is that? Vortex revolver, fine. I already have the bag boo. We already have the sumo boo. We did not have that. Okay, the paper boo. Uh, boo? I was gonna say paper boy. Paper boo, all right. Cool. I got two paper boos? What do I do with duplicates? All right. What do I actually do with duplicates? I have no idea. Final pulls possibly today. 1A, very awkward. We're not getting too lucky here. We get so many sumo boos. I gotta figure out what the heck to do with those. I genuinely don't know. We have so many explore boos now and bag boos. Okay. Ooh, devil boo. Oh, all right, cool. Let's skip the rest of this. They're all dupes or I don't know, just bees. All right, cool. And that's the polls I can do there. Then we have these exclusive polls. And like, seems unlikely I'm gonna get lucky. But I guess we could like, I don't know, can I exchange for anything? Well, I can exchange. I actually can. Okay. That seems like really good. Oh, some of these are discounted. I should pay attention to that. Definitely should be paying closer attention. Um, What the heck is this? All right, I don't know what that does. So I'm just gonna, wait. Oh, this is regular film. Oh, I could take that, sure. All right, what did I actually buy? I can do more pulls here. Let's do these pulls. 10 times is a rank A signal or higher guaranteed. How do we do? Okay, I got a B. 
tragic. Very tragic. Bro. Surely we can do better than a B. On the rare pulls on the banner. S tier? Let's go! Second pull? No shot. Okay? Super agent? Ellen Joe? Uh, hey guys. Too bad this is a closed beta and everything gets wiped. Okay. Second pull S tier. Yo, they expect you to go to 90. Uh, let's freaking go. B. Okay, skip. We just skip. Yo, whoever said single pulls aren't worth doing was wrong. They're actually just wrong. I mean, I, I, there's it's possible there's a discount I get if I was doing full 10 pulls at the same time. I don't think that's the case. If it is, then I'm just an idiot and I'm doing it wrong. No, I don't think that's the case. It's telling me I have eight more times to get my guaranteed. So I'm, I'm good, I think, I hope. It's actually kind of crazy that I could get an S tier and it didn't reset my guaranteed counter. That's kind of cool. It's actually really cool. Very happy to see that. Bro. We are we have got to use this new S tier hero. That's so hype. New S tier agent. I actually am in shock. I can't believe it. B tier. All right, we get one more, two more pulls. Come on, baby. Let's go. B tier, GG. Skip, don't care. All right, last pull for now. We'll get more of these, presumably. I cannot believe I got an S tier hero already, bro. Ooh, A tier. Big poggers, what do we got? Okay, new agent. Hey, yo. Let's freaking go. Oh, I am shredding right now. Wow. I am actually crushing this game right now. I mean, obviously, this is all skill. She, what? Dude, what? She's a maid with a shark tail? Bro, what the hell is going on here? What do you even Touch do? Tail, then no. Like, actually, what do you do? Flash freeze trimming. You deal ice damage. Consumes freeze charges. Physical damage on the regular attack. There's the dash. The special attack is drift. Use a quick tail sweep in front, dealing ice damage. Anti-interrupt level is increased. Bro. Okay. This is going to be fun. I'm 100% using her. And I'm going to put my best core on her because obviously. Money lover. Attack 10%. Oh, hell yeah. EX attacks and chain attacks. Reduce the target's defense. This effect does not stack. I mean... Sure. Hey, yo, let's... Let's go nuts on, on this, right? Not unlocked yet. Can I upgrade this? How do I upgrade this? Okay, that's too much upgrade. We'll just put this here. I don't I actually have no clue what I'm doing. All right. Dope. The vault, baby. Can I re Oh, I can can I re remove it? Does this cost me anything? No. So good. Good. Dude, I hate when a game like charges you to remove stuff. It's like, bro, why? Why are you doing this to me? Um, sick, bro. And then what does she do? Oh, I can do a skill upgrade on her? 
Because I got a duplicate, I can do a skill upgrade? Requires agent level 15. No, I can do this. If an enemy is hit by fly, fly the flag, the target's ice resistance is reduced? Oh my god, we actually have a plan coming together. Dude, frost lineup. This is a thing. We're doing a frost lineup. This is happening. All right. Base attacks inflict 9% more days? Yeah, I'm on that plan. I actually... I don't know what the answer is, but... When an attack is an enemy, the damage dealt is increased with the user's distance from the enemy. The closer, the greater the damage. Ooh. But, but let's let's try just inflicting days. And just we just equip it. We just have a good time. Now, this I can upgrade a couple ways. I can increase the star level. Oh. Ooh. Increasing the star level seems insane. Am I wrong? It costs me like nothing to do. This is probably just like a terrible thing to be doing. I don't know. Doesn't seem terrible to me though. All right. Seems pretty good. I mean, I haven't even used these heroes yet. Like, I should, like, try them, you know? Wait, did I equip it? Yes. It's just really gray looking. Okay. So, Kaku, ready. Hey, me yo. And Starlight, it's time oh, we gotta use this guy, too. Obviously. We gotta use the bear, bro. While your hit points is high, um, what do I want to do with bear, bro? Gosh, so many choices. I don't know if this guy hits up close, but let's just equip this and not think about it and just have some fun. How can I help? Hey, yo, we are changing up my whole team. I don't even know how any of these agents work. That is hype AF. Bro. Can I can I please go fight now? Please. What's over here? So many side quests to do. He looks tanky? Could be. I I don't know, bro. Oh, we got these bang boos to work with too. Alright. Oh, you can increase the star level. Hmm. Sumobu core. So we got a bunch of these cores. Yo, let's get this Sumobu upgraded. Because I can. Boom. 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 Yo, this Sumobu, is it better than my A tiers? The paper boo? This guy has 207 hit points, 56 attack. Oh, not even close, bro. Why even bother upgrading when I got this guy? This thick boy is insane. The paper boo freaking slaps, broski. I don't know what happens when I cap out on the level, unfortunately. I ca Maybe I just don't care. We just over-level this thing and just deal with it. I don't have what I need to take him any further. Yo, this... Wait, what What quest do I have in here? What? What? Why is there a quest here? Actually have no clue. Alright then, whatever. Let's figure that out later. Yo, are you hyped to see all these new agents in action? Because I know I am, man. 
so hyped. What can I do here? Oh, I can buy things. I kind of just want to buy everything. Like, I have no clue what I need. A rank materials are locked. B rank. I mean, oh, I could buy 20 of these. I could buy a lot of these. Chat, where do these go? Upgrade an agent's ice skills? Uh, hey, yo, hold up. Agents? Ready for combat. Did you say ice skills? Oh. Hey, yo, hold up. Requires agent level 15. Right. Agent levels. Is it work time? Is okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, we need to go to her base stats. We need to level her up. And then I'm going to make it so that she can go even higher because I haven't even used her, but like, bruh, she's my S tier. Dude, what the hell is she even holding in her hand here? Bro. Viz, what's up, dude? How's it going, man? Touch my tail and now. So I need basic freeze chips. I need 20 of them. Hey, great news. I could buy 20 of them from the shop, mm. broskies. Time for some tail care. Right? Basic freeze chip. 20. Uh, okay. Sure. I haven't even used the hero and I'm just like upgrading the hell out of it. Oh, wait, what's this? I can just... I just unlock this for money. Alright, take my money. That's in-game money, not real spend, chat. Dope! We're freaking clapping over here. Dude, I'm gonna crush with this hero. This agent. Mm. So, Kaku, ready! So she probably also requires the same ones. Yeah, the frosty things. All right. But she's not even level 15 yet. Is it work time? Is I don't think I can it? take her to level 15. Okay, good. Yeah, I don't have any more of these. So Kaku, ready. Time for some hard labor. We'll level him up. And I can take him up. I'm going to actually try using him before I do that. How can I help? I'm going to try using him. Big Ben over here. Well, this was definitely worth checking out. That's like for sure, man. I need to unlock the higher ranks of materials, though. That's for certain. Hi, Susie. What you got for me? Oh, hello and welcome. All right. Her boss needs help with something. I'm here to help. Dude, I can't wait to use my new agents. Let me use my agents. Please. I just want to use my agents. All I want to do is use my agents. Also, let's go to the noodle shop real quick. Original recipes for all to enjoy. 
just a quick quick visit at the uh, noodle shop over here. All right, little noodle shop buff. Because obviously you get some ramen, you do better in combat. That's like very obvious. Everybody knows your combat capabilities go up with the full belly of ramen. It's like, obviously. Let me take a mission. Let's go. Recommended level 13. We could do that. We could do that. F it. Hey, hold up. I'm level 10, but let's just level her up and show hard carry. She'll carry. Right shot. Time for some tail care. She'll just carry. Need something? My touch my tail? And uh, no. Standing by. Is it work time? Is food in I have two guns. Dude, Dude this is so window. hype. Oh, dude, they have different effects. Oh, my God. This game is f cool. All right, here we go. Here we go, baby. All right, here's the roguelike aspect of the game, chat. This is the dungeon crawl. I should actually read what they're saying here. This actually kind of matters. What's happening here? I feel like it's giving me a thingy in whatever direction I go. So how do I, how do I move here to not get in an endless loop? I don't know that the, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know that I need to go to every square, do I? Okay. I do not have the gear coins for this. Possible I just missed something in the last round. For how to handle that that maze. It's doing the same thing where it's putting like a... Okay. Why didn't I rescue that guy? I'm a little confused, truth be told. I can't go backwards. Well, I can go backwards. Weird. I don't think I have anything in my inventory here that helps me with this. There is a docile sheep here, and I don't know what to do with it. Okay, they left behind some currency. Great. Can I go back up? I can't go back up. I can only go down. All right. How 
How do I want to handle this? I think I do it like that. Okay. Uh, I need to get a better route. I mean, I should just fight this boss. I had a friend, no ghost. Can I just fight him now and then plan my route? No fight? I thought I'd get a fight there. Um. Alright. What route do we go here? Like that? Chad, I think we figured it out. It just like took me a second. But I think we got there. Down we go. Okay. How do I get... Uh, okay, I think I see where I want to go. First thing I want to do is get that coin. Next thing I want to do is get that coin. Next thing I want to do is plot my route. Which seemed really easy. Am I crazy? Okay, I think we got this mini game. Good. Well, apparently, if you don't go through the bad guys, you get more loot. Well, good to know, chat. Chat, we're playing Zenla Zone Zero. Links in the description if you want to check it out. Okay. A lot of stuff to get here. First thing I want to do is get this coin. Right? Now when I step on this, something's going to happen. Uh, I don't know what that is, and I'm afraid to step on it, but I'm going to do it anyways. Nothing happened. Okay, weird. All right, so how do I want to do this thing? What's my route? Um, so I can go down here. Do we go this way? Is, oh, nope, go back. No. Go back one move. Mistake made. Misclick. Yes, back one step. Thank you. Does that work? Did we do the thing shot? I feel like we did the thing. Holy. All right. 
I take that coin. Take that coin. Now, what's my route on this mayhem? I want to end on the right. That's weird. So I need to go like this. I think I got it. I think I got it. I, I suppose I took one or two extra steps I didn't need to take, maybe? I don't know. Ooh! Goodies! Get him, baby! Please give me a fight, though. Like, actually. Let's go. Okay, let's use this shark lady already. What is she holding? Is that a shark halberd? Oh, she's such a beast! Oh my god, I love these heroes! Get wrecked! <laughs> let's go! What? Bro. No shot, bro. Can this guy even dodge? He's too big. These new agents are good. Oh my. Where's this going to take me? Nah, I don't think I'm going to go back to the entrance. Let's just finish it up. I don't think I missed anything. I might have missed something. Let's see what I missed. I missed something. Shoot. Um, I could definitely do better on that mission now that I know what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm like really tempted to go for the max result on that. TBH. I don't like to leave anything like two starred like that, bro. Let's go fix that real quick. We got we got to fix it, chat. Unacceptable to two star, bro. Give me a break. Let's see if we can figure out what we missed. What did I miss here? Oh, that's why I needed to go back to the start. All right, 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 all right. We do need to go back to the start, chat. We do need to go back to the start. That's why. Bro, okay. All right. You think you should step through all screens to perfect it? I don't think I need to go through all the screens. Okay. Roger. Like, I don't think it's possible to go through all the steps here. But I think I just needed to go back to the start to perfect it. 
All right, I think we're going to be fine here, chat. I think we're going to be okay. Roger, roger. But this guy we just stepped on last time because I wanted to fight. I thought he was a fight, but it wasn't. So now we get that. All right. Do we remember how to do this puzzle, though? Pretty sure we do. It's almost like I've done this before. Huh? <laughs> Have I done this before? Okay. Easy clap. The thing that I find a little bit weird about this, that I worry for this game just a little bit, is like, will these puzzles become repetitive at some point? I don't know. Where am I going, bro? Oopsies. No, go backwards. Back one step. Back one step. Blah, 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 blah. You should just let me go back a step, bro. That time I went through literally every square. Oh my god, my new shark hero is such a beast. What the hell? So good. Okay, where are we going? The end is over there. This goes a lot faster when you, uh, have done this puzzle once already. Alright, easy clap. Oh, you know, it's giving me these coins, but it's not giving me the chest rewards anymore. That's interesting. Alright, now we get to actually do some fighting. Big progress. Let's freaking go. Dude, she's such a reluctant monster. She's so reluctantly goaded. What is this guy doing? Yo! Bro. This new team is too good. The game was like, oh, it's level 13. I don't know about that. Oh, I know about that. All right, so we go back to the entrance. Now we can go here. That thing I should have done the first time around. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, he's mad. Good. Should I be afraid of that or fight it? I don't need a hand. Get the hell out of here. 
bro, do I need a hand? GGFO. We gotta use the shark's ultimate. Dude, I got so lucky getting her. Oh my god. Okay, playing like a noob. Actually getting hit. GTF. He is so slow. Wow. Okay. Oh, I have her ultimate ready. Okay. We've got to do this ultimate. Oh, he's shooting at me. Give me a boss. Give me a boss. All right, let's just use the ultimate. <laughs> Got him! Nerds, come on! GG! Oh my god. Okay. What a combo. Sheesh. God dang. Wait. Finish planning routes. Have we not finished? What are, What have we not done? I'm so confused. What did I miss? Didn't we get everything at this point? What? Unless you're telling me there was someone in this stupid TV and I missed it. Both times. That better not be the case. I'm gonna be mad. Dude, I'm gonna have to do this stupid mission again. Actually. No, I did it. I'm good. The BCF. Okay, we're good. I'll say Crosby. What's up, dude? I don't know what that's about. Um, it's not time to do this, but I want it to be time to do this, broskies. It's been a long time. Two kids keeps me busy and we bought a new home. Congratulations on your new home, dude. This is what I want to do and what the game wants me to do. Wait, what happened to my other commissions, bro? Okay. Well, I guess we just go this way. We're going to skip the story for now.
All right. Hey, we might not have come across. Let's get to work, baby. Here we go. see any signs of them on the way over still hopefully we can find her and fast Time to let's clear them out left on target all right dude I love I really like this agent. Like, so easy to understand. Swords are always in style. Love it. Dope. And we progress, baby. Easy clap. Dude, I just want to keep working on the agents I've been collecting, though. Like, the games, like, do the story, and I'm like, yo, I got these agents I'm working on. Hey, yo, I got, I did some pulls over here. Don't play with them straight. Perfect dodge. GG, got him. Dude, can I even get to this guy? Ooh, yes I can. Dude, this this agent's pretty dope. It's like a Catwoman. This game looks fun. Definitely not my favorite art style. I don't know, man. I really like the art style here. The art style seems super cool to me. You are right that it's like uh, From the looks of it, sort of muted, like film noir sort of a thing they got going on. You know, like they got like an old time sort of a filter going. Does that make any sense? Confirmed. Dude, I'm just baiting out dodges at this point. Oh, okay. Wakey, wakey, pinch your maneuver. All right, here we go. I think I dodged that, but I am not sure. Don't worry, everyone will get their share. Go up point blank. Bro! Just juggle that guy. Literally just juggle that dude.
Okay, that's everything. All right. Sweet new commish. Let's freaking go. Love when I can do a commish. Let's get it done. Welcome back, Master. GG. Story commish. Select squad. I don't think I actually get to select my squad. I think it's um just a part of the part of the team here. You got like a default team, I think. I don't know. Maybe I could have selected a, a different. Actually, maybe I could have selected someone different to use. Whatever. This is a great squad. They're fine. Great squad. Can be. We made Take it. a detour to board the train. Vision Corporation has its monitoring station here. The train also stops nearby. To avoid alerting anyone. I found a secret way in. Here it is. Okay. Let's get moving. Sure. The Starlight Knights here to punish the bad guys. What am I missing here? It has to. It has to work. This path's blocked. We can't go this way. All right then. We go this way. All right, here we go. All right, we keep the damage rolling. Moments like this, I don't really know if I should like charge them or not charge them. But it's what it is. Dude, <laughs> look at that slide. Hey, yo. Oh, we got a little boss here. Okay. Hey, yo, we got a little boss here. He's charging me? Perfect dodge? In the combos? Okay. Oh, that's a lot of them. Perfect dodge on him, though? Perfect dodge on him? Get him! You kind of go into bullet time when you perfect dodge. Woo! Clean them up. Makes me feel like I'm actually good at video games. So easy. <laughs> okay. Got him! Dang! So, so when the screen does, like, a orange cross glow, if you switch heroes, you do, I think, what's called a perfect dodge. If I step on that bomb, do I die or do I get something? What do you think? I'll find out. Ooh! I can move the bomb. Well, that's news. Go this way, bomb. No. Uh-oh. Okay, wait. Can I go? Is there some other way to go? I don't think so. F it, let's go downstairs. Let's take the secret way then. I don't know if I could have brought that bomb with me. Sneak over to the monitoring station. Not bad, Faithin. You're so prepared. Let's go. We gotta fight. Dude, I really like the look of this agent. Ooh! Hey, yo! Big boss? Okay! Wow! Get him! Let's 
Dude, they're stunned. Go freaking nuts! I am destroying this. Whoa, there's more. Where? Oh, okay. GG. Oh, ho, ho, bigger boss. Uh-oh. And here I thought I was doing so good. Nope. That was just the appetizer, yo. Oh, who needs to dodge that? Trapped in a corner. Dang. Hey, yo. Easy. Bro, these early levels are... I don't know, the combos and chaining, this is really fun. Even though I recognize that, like... I don't even feel like I'm doing something very skillful. It just looks freaking cool. Did I just get to the train? Like, just like that? We did it? <laughs> Everything's going according to plan. Awesome. Seems like this route is smooth sailing. Yo, something's gotta go wrong. Can I go this way? Got him. What am I supposed to be doing now? Oh, getting in a fight, apparently. Right on top of me. Supposed to watch your back, apparently. Roger. Make it to you ask for it. maneuver. Dude, I can't wait to ultimate somebody. Let's clear them out. Quest objective, perhaps. I'm not sure what just happened. What is going on here? Ooh. Eradicate. The pressure's all yours. Knocked on target. Ooh. Yo. Hey, yo. Stop hitting me. I'm here. Watch out. Confirmed. Be gone. Feel the ultimate starlight. All right. We got him, baby. I actually do really enjoy the story. I really okay. do. The new plan but uses I just think it's less entertaining than uh, just throwing down. All right, we got a lot to do. Suggestion: transport it with a vehicle. 
Good idea. Let's load the explosives onto the train. Okay. Load the bombs onto the train. This lock is not smart tech. What is in here? Ooh. Pleasant surprise. Hello, baby. Yeah. Freaking loop pinata. Hey, yo. I don't even need this. Okay, we we are just crushing this. Um How does this work? Was that a one-time push thing? Oh, okay. Okay. I'm loading explosives onto a train. Why do I feel like I'm the bad guy doing that? Wait a minute. Why am I being dumb? What the heck? Okay, maybe I found a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm probably just being dumb, but we got there the long way, maybe? Okay. What? Where is she? The target is carrying Perlman. The target is about to reach the hollow exit. Is that bad? What's going on here? What do we gotta do now? We have to hurry. We have to hurry. Let's All right. Out the original plan. Split into two groups. We're going to stall the dead end butcher, right? Yeah. Lure it to the target location. Leave the explosives train to us. Got it. We'll get going then. Okay. Okay. Let's get the train moving. We've got control of the train. I that was easy. Go well for Nicole and the others. Ooh, we get a fight. Let's go, big poggers. So empty out here. Are we sure that big guy's really around? Not sure about the big guy. Plenty of little guys, though. It must be hiding somewhere. We trying to draw him out to fight? Huh? The beasties are running away. Oh, that can't be good. Almost here. The monster? The theme song. What? The bad guy's theme always plays before the final battle. <laughs> Don't worry, Andy. I've the for a surefire win from the Starlight Knights. You gotta break the rules when fighting bad guys. Open things up with a flying kick. Take them out in less than 10 seconds, and they won't even have time to play their theme song. Behind you. Whoa. My predictions were all predicted! You big dummy! The only thing they'd be playing for you are the credits! Don't tell me this guy's a fan of the Starlight Knights, too! Yo, we get a proper boss fight. Let's go! This one 
Ooh. Okay, let's do this thing. Just hold on until the proxy gets here and we win. G -g -g combo what okay I think I stunned him or dazed him Wow, do we wreck this guy? Okay. Oh, it's not over yet, is it? Oh, this can't be over yet. Okay. Chat. Uh. Okay. Hold on just a little longer. You're getting fatigued. Ooh, okay. I did not dodge that. My turn. Oh, I think some of these attacks you can't actually dodge. I'm used to every attack being dodgeable. But some of these you actually cannot dodge. Oh, this fight is actually hard. I mean, you can dodge it, but you can't perfect dodge it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Like, there's a perfect dodge. Oh, he did multiple attacks. Yeah, like, I don't think I could dodge all those. I could be wrong. Anyways, holy. Okay, boss fight round three. We gonna hit this guy with a train? Full of bombs? Okay. Wow. Well. You're up. Roger. Measuring in for your electrical charge. Jelly. Leave it to me. Critical voltage in four. Three. Hurry. Two. We actually hit this guy with a train full of bombs. Zero. Huh? Nothing's happening. Well, that's awkward. We didn't blow up the bombs. Okay, we got there. GG. That was really fun. How'd I do? I did very well. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Chat, what do you think of this? Dude, I got so many things to do. I actually have too many quests to do. Uh, I have a side commission I can do. Which I'm like really inclined to do. Find the cause of the blockage.
already found a fight. Yo. What? Ah, oh, dude, I'm so hyped to use this agent. Let's freaking go, bro. Just cuts through them, man. Oh, this guy wants to fight? I literally do not care. Am I racing him or something? If so, I'm kind of screwed. Yo, did they think they could outsmart me? Oh, okay. Maybe they can. Huh. Okay. Now status analyzed. The Do I have what I need? Only one. This lock is not smart. To I do? What can I do up here? What does this guy do for me? I saved them. Seems good. Oh, I did that really poorly. I actually did that poorly, I think. I might have been able to save 500 coins. I think I could have saved some coins there. I don't know if I would have to pay the toll on the way out. I, I don't know. I don't have any coins. You have to do that later. -hoo -hoo! Um, I don't need more coins. Okay, there's more coins. After me. Let's go. I think we're going to be able to rescue all these guys. Kind of cool you can break those bricks. I didn't realize that. Bro's trying to catch me. He ain't got nothing on me. Got it. Let's freaking go. Uh, yep. Yeah. No, okay, this is awkward. Oh, 
Oh, I'm dead. All right. We get a fight. I was doing so good dodging them all. Then I got greedy, I guess. I mean, whatever. We take these fights. Him up, use the ultimate. Oh man, that's good. Jeez. Hey, this guy is so slow. I just rather use her, man. Too slow on Ben. He's so slow. Okay. Yo, Jake the dog. What's up, dude? Yo, is that other guy want to fight? Because I'm game. I'm actually game. Yeah, I'm having a good time, man. This game is very fun. What am I looking at? They're out the trash? All right. Straightforward, I would say. Ooh, angry boy. What am I supposed to do here? I don't want to fight that guy. Come at me, bro. What happens if we go here? I can't. There's no need to go to the conveyor belt. All right, I gotta fight this guy. So come at me, bro. What do you think you got? Bruh. I got a freaking shark tail. And I freeze things. You stand no chance. Actually. Actually, you're just Dunsky. You just don't realize how Dunsky you are yet. Playing around. Jeez. Ben is so slow, but man, when he hits you, it hurts. Thirteen-hour live stream? Probably not. But I have so much I want to do in this game. I don't actually think I need to do anything on the other floor. Like, I think I'm good. I think we cleared it out, baby. We're good. I'm good. You're good. Let's go. Oh! Push all the crates in a line? 
to clear it all in one go? I didn't know that was an objective, bro. Oh, well. Maybe another day. Or if I pay more attention, GG. Nope. All right, we're good on the side commissions. Story commissions were good. I need more stuff to do. Actually. Holy cow. I do not know what to do with all these notifications. Um, I feel like these are things to do, but they're not. Here's one. Commission. Okay, I found a commission. So most of these are fluff, but one of those I could take. I have mail. Ooh. Claim. I have a new survey to fill out. I feel like I just did a survey. Uh, okay. New message. Ooh. All right. Oh, whoa, you were still texting. No, no, no. Okay, well, did I get it all? Did I not get it all? Who knows? My DMs. Oh, there we go. Okay, you're counting on me. No worries, just leave it to me. Good. This is good. Add it to the schedule. I have so many missions, now we're talking. I don't know why this guy wants to talk to me. There's more quests I can take. Should I take more quests? Dude, I think I just got a new person to work the video store. That's a thing. Yo, you want to work here for free too? Everybody wants to work here for free. New commission, big boggers. We got missions now. We got stuff to do, man. I have so many currencies. I don't even know what they do. I'm going to be real with you. Oh my god, that's a lot of missions. Okay. Dude, are you also the kind of person who, like, has to do everything? Because I am. Ask for Hannah and inside and snap a picture of it, huh? How about a Tin Master special for a little pick-me-up? How are you playing a game and skip everything? I don't skip it when I am playing for myself. But when I'm str I don't know, when I'm on stream, like like do you want to watch me like read through story? Like I don't know, man. Maybe. I guess maybe. Trash can is a mission somehow. What?
Pretty sure I'm supposed to take a picture of something and I was not paying much attention to what it was. Take a... Okay. Is this really... Is this really what we're doing right now? Okay. Guess this is what we're doing. Is this really the conversation we just had? Okay, that just happened. New mail. Ooh. Level 15 gift? Hey, yo. We have some gifts to work with here. Oh, baby. All right. Ready for combat. Dude, we got some stuff to work with. Hold up. Open. Let's freaking go. Oh, what's in here? I can get a agent. Okay, I don't know what I want. And until I know a little bit more about these things, I'm just gonna let them sit for a minute. Until I know what I really want. Events. Okay. Um, we go over here. No. Signal search. We can do some polls. Oh yeah. Let's do a poll, baby. This game is in closed beta right now. Scooby Snacks. I got an S tier! Let's go! What did I get? What did I get? No, I, engine, fine. B, nobody cares. B, come on. Okay, sumo boo. Good. Arrow, and... Okay, where's that S tier, bro? That ain't it. Anton, the second Ooh. best driller in the whole company. Anton, what do you do, bro? Okay. Me. Okay. New agent? Dude, do. Corin is a monster, bro. Soldier 11 in position. Oh, Standing oh, by. Soldier 11 S tier. I am popping off with rares. Oh, man. Yo, this game's easy. Just show up. You get a wicked lineup. Easy clap. Huh? Wow. 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 Wow, 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 wow. wow. I'm, I am shocked, man. I'm actually shocked. Bro, what does she even do? Unless she's a set of more powerful fire slashes. Huge fire damage. Fire, 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 fire. Okay. Ready sure. and waiting. Hey, yo, oh, I need more of that. Dude. What do I want to take here? Defense when attacked? Um, we've got, got that one of those maxed out. I haven't used all these, I mean. I don't know. We could go with this guy. Equip. 
Upgrade. I mean... I have the currency and I don't see why not. Okay, seems good. And what do you need to upgrade? I need to be level 15 anyways, so I can't do that. Awaiting further instructions. Dude, I cannot believe I am actually just pulling all all the agents and getting so lucky. Standing by. What else can I do with my agents? Oh, you have more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> Dude, I didn't even look at her. She's goaded. This guy's great. Oh my god. Okay. Well. Let's go do a mission. Let's do a mesh. Bring these guys. What's that exclamation? Okay. I mean, I'm intrigued. So much to do. Hey, Proxy. Have you hit a roadblock? The old remodeling shop here. Anyone know what the green exclamations are about? people to listen to Mr. Hello. Where are the people I need to convince? This one? Yeah, it looks like that's what I need to do. Head back to him. All right. Ooh. Oh, baby. Rewards. Hey, yo. I love rewards. Weekly rewards, daily rewards. All right, all right, all right. All right. And there's an exchange store. Ooh. I have no clue what I want, so... I'm gonna guess it's these fancy things up top, the hamster cage pass. But I'm gonna chill on that for now. Dude, Ambie's great. Trust level increases. Oh, I should be paying attention to what's happening there. Chat, do you know what the trust level does? What does the trust level do? Okay, tutorial about trust levels. Oh, good. Unlock upgrade missions once you reach a certain level of trust. Okay. Okay. Um, let's go do the red exclamation. Right after I talk to this guy over here. Why are you glowing at me? No reason, apparently? Alright. That's fine. All right. Let's do a commish, baby. I have so many commissions, I feel. 
Yeah. Rally commission, just focus on the fighting. Okay, let's do that. That's what we're doing. 100%. Let's bring in our new S tier. Big freaking poggers. Ready for combat. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's freaking go. Yo, new S tier. I feel really lucky. I kind of can't believe how lucky I got. It's actually shocking. Okay, perfect assists inflict significantly increased days during the Metro Zone Commission. Okay, so maybe that's what we need to be focused on doing. Am I just gonna kill all these guys one at a time? Oh, look at her! What? No shot! Oh my goodness! What? <laughs> Dude, this team is correct. What? Roger that. Ultimate. Let's go. Had to just see what it did, you know? Okay, looking good. Am I supposed to be... <gasps> Am I supposed to be collecting stuff? Am I supposed to be goofing off in here? Am I supposed to be goofing off in here? I had no idea. Apparently. What do I do with you? Oh my gosh, this whole time? I had no idea. I actually had no idea. That hurts. Some terrain can be destroyed, some terrain cannot. Still gotta figure out which is which. Oh, okay. Nope, I guess I can't destroy that.
perfect dodge. Let's go. Dude, this, this weapon is so absurd. Nothing to get on this map, I guess? What about you? No. Oh! Nice move, buddy! Okay. I learned from last time. Let's just use the ultimate on this thing. <laughs> okay. Actually just destroying. Okay, now these have got to be explodable. I think those give health. I mean, I'm just guessing, but green glowies, my health is green. I don't know. What else could it be? Boss fight? Oh! Holy! Okay, gotta be way more careful. Dude, this guy's actually shredding me. What the heck? Dude, like, for, I feel like for the first time in this game, I need to properly dodge stuff. Or I'm gonna get wrecked. I'm actually getting destroyed. I'm gonna lose. Wow, I'm actually gonna get destroyed here. Oh my god. I need to bring more damage here. I'm not going to pass this. Wow! Dude, that boss was destroying me. Like, the whole lead up to the boss was like, whatever. And then that boss almost collapsed me, bro. Wow. Okay. Yo. We need to do more upgrades, I feel. Dang. All right. Dude. There's so much to do in this game. I feel like I'm, like, supposed to run out of currency to keep doing things, but I'm not. I don't know. Um... I mean, I have side commissions I can do. This guy Shepard keeps messaging me, bro. way I kind of want to go to some of these vendors and see if there's more stuff I can buy there's like things that I need that I don't know if I have access to them yet or not yet 
there's so much to do. The BTF, bro. Can I buy these yet? Locked. How do I unlock them? Can still only buy these? Tempted to just buy them. Did you want to mod something? Dude's got a freaking bionic arm. What can we modify? Welcome in. What mods are you going for this time? Modify is still locked in here, though. Why is he gotta tempt me with a good time, but not deliver? Is this guy just gonna keep giving me? Nope. He's actually gonna let me collect that now. Okay. Cool. Daily goals achieved. Suppose we can just take a commish. That'd be reasonable. You heard one of the songs from uh, the stream on your kid's playlist? That's funny, dude. We have so many quests to do. Bro, I have so many missions. The rally commission was really cool. I guess you just complete it. And then these side commissions, we got so many of them. Awaiting further instructions. I mean, if only I could do more stuff. I take this to level 10. That's great. Oh, I can upgrade this. I actually can. Just do it. Who cares? Um, this thing's pretty cool. Can I upgrade this as well, or did it take the same materials that I just used up? Let's find out. Different material. F it. Let's upgrade. Let's get better. Let's get good. Scale. Big scale. Okay. Okay. All right. Ready so far, so good. Let's do this thing. 
I love this team. Let's go. Let's freaking go, baby. Oh no. Verification code. Chat, you gotta help me out. Pass. I gotta pass a captcha. Blue one. Blue three. Blue four. One three four. Six. One three four six. Oh, bro, why are you doing this to me? Three. Red three. Blue two. Yellow eight. Green six. Oh, God. Well, I didn't even read what the question was. Maybe I should have read the question. Let's try again. Red nine, blue eight, yellow three, green five. Enter the verification code in this order. Oh God. Was this what it was? Yeah, okay. Uh, I guess we gotta do it again. That's kind of annoying. We gotta get all three, chat. What's the point if you don't get all three? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blue one. One, eight, nine. One, eight, nine, four. One, eight, nine, four. Oh, dude, the fairy marks the correct answers? Oh, this is gonna get really easy then. What? Why do I get correct answers marked? Red 8. Blue 1. Yellow 9. Green 5. Fairy marks this answer as correct? Do I even need to look at these? Okay, now I'm supposed to pay attention to the colors. Red nine. Blue six. Yellow two. Green five. I don't even need to pay attention. It marked all the correct answers for me. Okay. What's the point of that then? Asking for a friend. Um... I guess I want to go this way. What does it take to open this? One coin, okay. So I guess you get more coins by doing the captures, correct? Which I so skillfully did the first time, because I didn't even read the prompt. We're playing Zenless Zone Zero. This is the closed beta. And I'm really enjoying this game, truth be told. Good.
Let's do this thing, baby. Is there like stuff to destroy? Now I'm like really vigilant for it. Poses they do at the end. So good. Is that the whole thing? The whole thing was basically captures, actually. The whole thing was actually just captures. Alright, well, that was an easy side mission ish. Easy little side commish. Oh, I guess they tell you the length. Of the mission here. It's kind of cool. But I hadn't noticed that. Dude, I actually have a pay to win team. 100% free to play. That's kind of nutty. Alright. What are we up to? Okay. Oh. What? I'm actually not sure where I'm supposed to send this guy. Do I want to send him to the finish line? Maybe? Okay. Weird. Okay. Ah. Hmm. Okay, I see the weirdness here. This is actually really easy. Once you think about it for a second. Oh, it moved. The BTF, bro. Huh. Okay. I got your number game. I got you. Rewards. Wait, is that it? Mysterious carrot lets you leave the hollow whenever you want. Okay. Poggers, I guess. What's happening right now? Uh oh. Uh. Okay. Oh, that's curious. Uh, wait a minute. What am I supposed to do here?
Oh, I'm sure I'm going to figure this out in a minute. There's got to be a way to do this. It has to do something with going down to here, right? Has to be. What am I doing wrong? This is it. Now we got it. Now we got it. Now we got it, right? That is not it. Yes. Ha ha. Ha ha. <laughs> I got you, puzzle. All right. Um... How did I just do that? I need to do it in reverse, WTF. Wait a minute. Okay. We go like this. I need him to go all the way to the left. How do I do this? Actually stumped by this stupid puzzle. And there we go, there we go, there we go. I needed to go to the right sooner. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. We got there. Gosh, bless. Okay, we do this again. I need to shove him. Which way? I feel so dumb right now. Brain puzzle. Did this once already. I just need to do it the other way. Now it's where I am, which is not what I want. I need it to be offset again. How do I do that? Why is this puzzle frying my brain so hard? I literally just did this. He's one separated from me now. There we go. Holy cow. Why was that so brain frying? <laughs> what the heck, man? Yes. There's like only so many ways that could have gone. Okay. Proceeding 
God's order. Hey, you wanna play with me? Sheesh! Actually, just froze them, man. Gosh, these agents are so good. Can't believe I got multiple S tiers. Yeesh. All right, easy commish, bro. Easy. All right, here's the deal. I think I gotta grab some lunch. In case you missed it, the way to download this game, Honkai, uh, I was going to say Honkai Star Rail. Wow. Zenla Zone Zero by the same people who made Honkai Star Rail and Genshin Impact. Link is in the description. Big thank you again to the makers of Zenla Zone Zero for giving me access to this closed beta version of the game to play and stream. I'm obviously really enjoying it. Uh, very action packed, very fun, lots to do. I just want to keep jamming missions, but I'm going to go get some lunch. So if you enjoyed the stream today, do me the honor of throwing a like on here. Consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, if you want to see me play more of this game, definitely let me know. I might check it out more on the second channel to be determined. Until next time, my friends, you have fun smashing the kingdom. I'll see y'all real soon. Take care, everybody.